Welcome to Love Them Knives channel, Trader's Corner. 10th of every month, 10th of September, here we come. Yes, we're here. Back from my big round, 2,400 miles on the road. Tulsa and back, okay? 1,200 miles each way. That was a hell of a trip. I uh, see my grandson, and it, you know, it was a week out of pocket or more. And so when I got back in town, I got out of the car like the Pope and kissed the ground. It was good to be back in Tucson. A lot of traveling, hotels, fast food, not the greatest diet in the world. Uh, we're back. Trader's Corner. Buy, sell, trade. Buy, sell, trade. Go in the description or in the comments section. Put down your buy, sell, trade, whatever you're looking for, wanting to get, or wanting to sell, or wanting to trade for. Otherwise, I mean, there are several guys this month that sent me a list of knives of what they would like to sell, and maybe they'd consider trades and stuff. So I'll put them in the description section, also in the top of the comments section, so you can access their name, email address, see the list of knives, and their uh, what they want for them. I'm going, oh, uh, another thing, Rockwell testing. Kurt J. Cool G 19 space 2 YouTube channel. That's his YouTube channel. I'll give you the link to his YouTube channel. He's the guy that's been doing the Rockwell testing and the PMI testing for our testing group. He has his own YouTube channel. He is running videos uh, and putting them on YouTube of him actually Rockwell testing knives. So, if you want to see how it's done by the king, uh, take a look. Look at his videos. It's really entertaining. He put up one thing. Uh, um, it was it was him with drinking some Yahoo uh, chocolate pop and stuff like that. I think he was taken off on Super Steel Steve, who always pops out a beer at the beginning of his. So he was like doing all kinds of crazy things and real sarcastic, real strange. Uh, <laughs> and he's kind of, he looks so straight, but man, he was, it was funny as hell. So look at that video too. But then the rest of them are just doing Rockwell testing, which is kind of fascinating. You'd think it'd be like watching paint dry. But it's fascinating because the next knife he brings up and you go, oh, yeah, I'd like to know about that, too. Oh, let's watch the next one. What's that? So hopefully, though, and you can contact him directly. I will put his email address so that you don't have to bounce it through me and him and bounce it back and bounce it back to you. And it, the turnaround will be a lot quicker now that we have the new Rockwell machine. That being said, uh we still have a, a bogey on that. We still got a balance to have to pay on that. If you want to uh, donate to that fund, coolerkw at yahoo.com. I'll put it at the bottom here so you can uh, donate to that. If you send knives to him to uh, Rockwell Test, that's free, but be nice to leave a tip, wouldn't it? So, Cooler, kw at yahoo.com. Send him your return shipping cost. So it's free, but he ain't going to pay shipping. I just got done paying about 150 bucks shipping, shipping knives back to guys who sent them in for testing. I didn't, I wasn't thinking it all the way through. A couple of them gave me shipping money. Most of them not, and it's not their fault. I didn't ask for it. I asked for it, all right. Uh, so link to his YouTube channel. Link to his Instagram, so you, and you're going to get his email address. You can talk to him. You go ahead and ship directly to him. I'm just hoping all those HRC numbers, all the Rockwell numbers for all those knives tested, will actually get logged on a spreadsheet. Our spreadsheet as it stands is PMI, Composition Tests, plus Rockwell. So if Blade Banner will be so kind as to extend that to PMI only, I mean to, to Rockwell only, because here's the thing, we don't need to continue to do PMI composition tests or XRF analyzer, um, X-ray composition uh, readings on known steels. Okay, we don't need to do that for Spyderco on 100 different M390 knives. I think we get it. Okay, S30V, whatever, beat CTS BD1, whatever. So if they're known, they're Benchmade, they're Spyderco, they're Wee knives, they're Kaiser, they're whatever. We know, we've already tested, don't need to do it a bunch of times. 
it takes more time and effort and doing the Rockwell is easy because he's got the machine at his shop at home. So we're going to be doing Rockwell only for a lot, unless it's a fairly new brand. Then we will check them out. So we will still be doing some PMI tests, but not as many as before. Probably 90% is just going to be Rockwell only because we don't need to double, double check known steels over and over again. It's just a waste of time. What we really want to know is what's the hardness. Hardness, on the other hand, being relating to performance, cutting performance, that's a whole different matter because our cutting people will need to do cutting performance tests. I mean, if you have a fatigued edge because you overheated the edge on the final grind, depending on blade geometry, depending on thickness behind the edge, and the finish on the edge. So there's a lot of different things that go into actual cutting performance. Harder steel, better than softer steel, should be more edge retention. And of course, composition being part of that whole equation. So a 64 HRC M390, definitely gonna outcut a 64 D2, okay, because of the composition. So let's, you know, but that's it. I mean, it's just, you know, all things being equal, a harder M390 will have better edge retention than a softer, et cetera, et cetera, for D2, VG10, whatever. But you can't go across lines, VG10 versus D2 versus OS8 versus, I mean, they're different composition, so they have different uh, properties. So, you know, that kind of thing, it, it'd be interesting, you know, uh, but uh, Sandvik steels and all that, uh, cutting performance tests, kind of see how they shake out. So that's interesting. Check on that. I'm going to give you the link to the cutting performance test spreadsheet that Blade Banner is doing for those guys who are doing the cutting performance. So take a look at that many times, and they're getting better at it, putting an HRC or a Rockwell number with that knife. Because if you don't have a Rockwell, uh, how do you know? Uh, where how hard your steel was I mean you get certain numbers where are you uh, so I think that's really very important to have that so I'm sure they'll be adding it going forward I haven't been able to catch up on that sheet for a while and our sheet is growing and I'm going to go through my list of knives that I have uh, sent uh, the data to Blade Banner just to make sure he's already logged everything I've sent him I've got more Test videos coming out soon, so stay up with that if you're interested. Uh, okay, so enough about the Rockwell stuff. Donate if you want. Contact Kurt directly if you want testing. Great. I'm going to be an advocate for us somehow logging all that Rockwell information so that we can build a database. The bigger your database, I mean, if you got a 100 M390 Spyderco Para 2s, that's better than five, okay? We need lots. And I know it seems redundant, but you know, you really got a better ability to do uh, a median. You know, here's the low, here's the high, here's the median of what this we're getting with uh, Rockwell numbers on a certain model and a certain steel. And so it's just really a matter of getting a hell of a lot of numbers together on every single brand on every single steel that they put out. Yeah, I know, but it's a Herculean effort. It's one that you do little by little over time. And I'm hoping that continues like that because I hate to have a bunch of catch and release HRCs done or Rockwell's done. People get the knives back, but it never gets logged. So the rest of us consumers never get to see all that data. That would be not a good thing. Okay, another thing, White Mountain Knives. Look at their BOGO stuff, okay? Because they're still got the BOGO on the 3605F control. Uh, and that's a great deal with the LTK discount. It's like $24, $25 a knife. It was a $56 knife. Uh, D2, and we had that tested. It was like a 60 HRC. You can get them in like green, black, or that blue color. So that's really great. I didn't pull the knife out for that. But uh, also they are starting to carry two sun knives. Now, 
getting the Tucson knives from China to the U.S. Problem is a lot of them go through Hong Kong and Hong Kong's got problems right now. So, and there's a big Chinese holiday coming up. And so after that all clears out, hopefully things will move. I've talked to a distributor that is saying they're having difficult times getting knives from China right now. So it's the Hong Kong deal. Um, and I've heard it from my buddy Chen Ping over in China, the CH knife owner. Uh, he wanted to send me some and they, they've been a no-go so far. But Tucson knives. So I'm going to advise Justin on models and pricing. And if you want to kick in and help me out with that, that'd be great. Recommend what models you think he ought to carry. Take a look at what he's got. He's got it built into the system. He doesn't, he doesn't have them in hand yet, but he's built them onto his system. So you can look online, see what, what models he's already listed uh, and the prices. And if you want to help out, help out. You, either through me or direct to him saying, yeah, I, they've pretty much been going for about 50 55 And it looks like you've got them listed at 75 or 85 You know, I mean, I want to help him be competitive, get the right pricing and the right models available for everybody. Uh, of course, he's got CH knives as well. <sighs> it just the Chinese thing. So whenever that clears up and the, and the, backlog finishes or whatever then then he'll be able to get more of those in stock upcoming knife sale the 13th here we are 11 minutes in the 13th September Friday the 13th actually Friday the 13th there's gonna be a knife sale damn it um, so you're gonna get paid on Friday right so you should have some money uh, and money's no good it's just what it can buy right so Pay attention to that. That will be 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific Time. I'm going to post it. And there's going to be a shite load of knives on that table. It's going to be at least 50 or more. And it's going to be a crowded bunch. And there's going to be some good budget buys there, too. It's not going to be a bunch of three, $400 damn knives. Uh, it varies from sale to sale, but this is going to be... More budget-friendly stuff and, and some others in the, you know, 150 to 200 range. So please, Friday, make note. I will also post a notice on my Instagram on Friday letting people know 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Yes, knife sale. Okay. Um, I know I've hit 15,000 subscribers and it was kind of while I was out of town and on the road and all this shit. So no, I haven't set up anything for the 15K giveaway, but I'm going to do one. I'm going to do a 15K giveaway. I've got one knife I know for sure. I may throw a flashlight or two in there. Um, and one of these lovely, lovely t-shirts. These are going to be like they've gone out of style, right? Because we're going to do different t-shirts. Yes, we are. And hold on, let me. Uh, I have decided to go simple because this may be a little too cartoonish for a lot of people. I think it's kind of badass, but yeah, it's really loud and it's out there about knives. So we're going to do something a little bit more like this. So it's got, I got to do a pocket T. I am going to do, a, of course, that's me modeling it, of course. Shut up. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a pocket tee, real simple logo on it. And I don't know if I'm going to, he's going to, my son is doing these for me. He works for a regional office supply thing, so they can do all these promotional things. But uh, so it's a real simple logo, going to be in either sand color, which is what this is, or kind of a denim blue kind of color, or maybe a kind of a, a shade of green as three different options. Uh, I'm going to look at them. I might have to only choose one color. Uh, and then, you know, this way it'll give me the opportunity to get some small and some medium. I'm out of large as well. Small and medium were gone immediately. I'm not going to order a bunch of them because I don't want to get hung out with a bunch of merch. But uh, we're going to do that. And maybe get a few in triple X, quadruple X, just... You know, for the big guys. I mean, bigger than me. Wow, I'm 2X and I thought I was uh, sizable, but hey, I, I get it. Um, so check that out. We're going to do some t-shirts coming up. 
Let me know what you thought about, I mean, the different colors. And if you think that logo on the pocket is a lot more classy and pocket tees. Oh my God, I, I like them. I like them a lot. I don't know why more of my t-shirts aren't pocket tees. Probably because they were t-shirts that I bought that had Harley or whatever on them and they just didn't have a pocket on them. Uh, but I do like the pocket tees. Okay, so, oh, check this out. Ganzo FH71. It's coming out, um, it, apparently a distributor for Ganzo um, designed this knife. So now they're having chit chat about how it's going to be released. And I'm sure the distributor probably wants some kind of heads up or, or getting a step up on who's going to control distribution of, of those knives since they did the, uh, the design. We'll see. So it's been held up. Okay, not only Hong Kong and all that crap, but you know, arguing about who's gonna do what with the knife. So it's gonna come out. I talked to John at Power Cutlery. It's kind of cool because I had a guy say, hey, I haven't heard anything new from Ganzo for a while. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Sharp by Design, Brian Nadeau has got a new one that he's making through Riot Knives called the Void, V-O-I-D. It will have a whole bunch of different iterations to it, carbon fiber or aspirated as you see there, but also some different colored G10s in the handles, this and that. And yes, the carbon fibers on both sides, M390. So really interesting, about 350 if you look at Blade HQ. The, the, the initial pre-order thing, that's already dead. Everybody's already signed up, that's already, all spoken for and you know, I think if you were all in immediately when you got in on that it was like $2.99 so you saved yourself 50 bucks I'll try and get one down the line 7.3 inches overall 3.2 inch blade so they're not a big big knife but they really look sweet I mean really cool and you know of course I like the Evo Typhoon but you know the flipper tab on the Evo Typhoon was gigantic if you look on Brian's site there sharp by design on Instagram you will see that that flipper tab is very minimal on that. So that makes it much more attractive for me. I'll try and get one. Of course, it'll be on the back side of this whole thing because I didn't get in on the uh, pre-order. I did get in on getting some green scales. I mean, getting the uh, Perpetua, a Schwartz design made by Millet Knives with the Nitro V. So I did get that. I had sold my gray one off. A long time ago and thought if that ever comes back around I'm gonna grab one and I did and use my link to make yourself uh, an account with drop it's called drop not mass drop anymore drop and uh, if you do then when you buy a knife I get 10% I get a $10 credit when you give your link, once you get an account and you buy something, you give your referral link to your friends, you get a $10 credit for everything, uh, every new, you know, guy that signs up under you and buys a knife. So, I mean, at least I got like $30 worth of credit off of this. So it was great. I mean, it made it so affordable. I really like it. It's such a practical carry knife. Like it a lot. I think if you look at the spreadsheet, you'll see that we tested the Nitro V. Also, Civivi Wyvern is in blue, and I got one also in uh, tan. You know why? Because I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to dye it. And this is FRN, not G10, right? So, uh, but blue, that's good enough. I don't need to dye this one. This one's good. Texel. Texel from Best Tab. I'll be doing a video on this. This is... Uh, Adam Purvis, uh, joint or collaborative with Best Tech. Smaller knife, like seven and a half inches overall, 3.2 inch blade. So smaller, lighter, it's not a huge hog like the Swordfish and some of the other G10 models that have been almost nine inches. So much smaller knife, you might dig it, comes in different colors. I got the natural G10. I think they were gonna do them in yellow as well and some others. So that ought to be interesting. And guess who's, oh, oh, Jason Guilfoyle. Thank you, Jason. He sent me this koozie along. I got some of his knives for the, uh, for the knife sale on Friday. And then he, he included this in the box. Guess 
who's looking at you, Flanagan, right? It's like, who? well, that was an image I bought for my shirts, and you have to pay copyright for it. So, I mean, anybody, you know, it just he just thought it was funny. China, high-end EDC. Dark Star. Not the Vespa Ripper. This is the Vespa Dark Star OTF. This has titanium as the overlay. Both sides, not just on the presentation side. And, of course, on the pocket clip, there's an area for putting a tritium insert. Okay. Titanium actuator, titanium pocket clip, aluminum underlying. This is titanium on the outside. M390 blade or aluminum underlying carbon fiber come in different colors like an orange yellow a black a green a blue i think and maybe a silver um pocket clip actuator getting the wrong stuff in there but m390 three and three quarter inch blade eight and three quarter overall length otf bam had the Ripper tested, of course, on a past uh, video. I've included it in a batch. It was a 15, uh, 59.4, something like that, 59.5 HRC, but it's real M390. So could they do better on the on the Rockwell? Yeah, they yeah. But I'll probably have one or both of these Rockwell. Remember Vespa and uh, go to high end EDC, uh, China high end EDC. They have a store on. AliExpress and one on DH Gate. It's 210 for the titanium one, okay, and 220 for the carbon fiber. So they ain't giving them away, but they're the real deal, Holyfield. And you get an extra spring, you get the proprietary tool for the screws, which are a complete mess, right? I mean, you go, wow. Uh, but you get the tool for that and a couple extra screws. And a nice zipper pouch. And they're solid. That's for sure. I mean, everybody I've talked to that's bought any of these, they say, oh yeah. And how's the blade play? Very, very infinitesimal. Uh, and that's always something you think about. But you got to have a little bit. You got to have some margin. But that's really, really minimal. Okay. Next thing. CKF snafu okay custom knife factory resenti uh this is uh his integral and it's not the satori the satori has a recurve blade it's a different knife but this is the snafu this is coming out now 400 units and it's like a, a damascus or mokutai mokutai type ring around here but and that looks bronzish and i don't think they are i think they're well maybe they are i don't i don't know i'll find out tomorrow when i get it because i got one from moose and bear on uh instagram so you can check with him i will tell you straight up they're 640 dollars he sold me hit one of these for 585 dollars so don't pay 640 okay get that 55 bucks off um if you want one, I think they're they're beautiful. Not sure if I love the fact they didn't mill the backside. Mm, okay, and it would have been nice if they had a matching Moku tie uh, pocket clip with that pivot ring in the front. So that would have been nice. I'm going to take a look at it. I'm interested. I mean, the Satori kind of sold me, and it's definitely better than the Resenti stuff the Spyderco did. The Payzon. Woo! That was rugged. And that was, what, $520? It's like, forget, get out of town. $585 and I can get this? You kidding me? Absolutely. So, that's BS. Oh, you know, like I was talking about the Texel. You know, it's on Knife News, too. You can tech, check it out. Okay? Adam Purvis, et cetera, et cetera. So you can read about that. Knock yourself out. And, oh, Hey, let me show you a couple other things just for shits and giggles. Oh, just remember, White Mountain Knives, LTK discount. Remember, Bastion Gear, 20% LTK is the discount code. Bastion Gear, they got gun stuff. 
They've got knife stuff. They got other stuff. So go in there. You know, they're always going to have a sale. Like they probably have one at uh, Halloween or Thanksgiving or Christmas. And you go in there and put the slammer down. I mean, one guy hit it over, uh, I think, uh, Labor Day and got one of those Bastion Persuaders for 39 bucks. you know. They're 69 bucks, but they were on sale. Then he used the LTK discount code for 20% off. Whew. Stole that, baby. Just had one tested. I will reveal that online on my test results, okay? Um, but it did, it did pretty dang good, and it's real D2. Uh, two you knives. Keep up with them. Uh, 5% off any knife there. I'll leave the link to that. Tepe Designs. Uh, Tepe, you really need to keep up with this guy. I'm so far in. This is too bad. Uh, maybe people have quit watching. But Tepe Designs, this is the killage. You've probably seen this. Uh, Dr. Frunky, I think, has uh, talked about it. And so has uh, Stasa23, this and that. So this will be... In November, it'll be at kickstarter.com. Put in Killage, K-I-L-I-J. And it'll be this knife. And it you can get it with Damasteel or you can get it with regular S35VN blade, okay? So it's got a uh, ceramic ball on the pocket clip. There's the backspacer. It's also... So this is a Tepe design. Sean is on. He's out in the Bay Area of California. He was the guy, the guy that did the shockwave in M390, had it hit twice on the uh, Rockwell machine, uh, 59, 6 something, not quite 60. The others I've done, I've had done were right at 60. And one was at a 62 on M390. This uh, Vortex is a, is a new one. It's a TS-180 by Tepe. And man, this is a killer. This is a front, this is a front flipper, okay? And whoop, there we go. M390, really beautiful looking. The Vortex, check that out. And they're numbered. These are numbered, uh, if you can see the number right up here so they're numbered m390 titanium all that kind of stuff i mean they ain't no 300 bucks i mean you could probably pop one for like 110 120 that's that's pretty nice ceramic bearings all that so tucson kicking butt kicking butt i hope justin gets some on his site because there's a lot of people don't want to bid don't want to go through all that hassle and wait two weeks and all that next is this the Praxis, Civivi Praxis? No, this is the Civivi Insight. Is this the backlash and the Praxis had a baby and then grew a little G10 carbon fiber uh, milled, contoured in this? So really, I think this is a great knife. It's pretty good size, like 3.7 inch blade, etc. So it's good size, D2, all that. But I love the combination, and you can get a wooden handle uh, as an option. So that's a good-looking blade. Uh, I don't need my backlash anymore, right? Uh, this is a good all-arounder. I don't have my Praxis anymore. But, but it's very, very similar. Kind of strange that they did that because it's a real ringer for the Praxis, I think. Okay, QSP. Let's talk about them for a little bit. Holy moly, man. I saw this on their Instagram. It's called The Worker. Check that out. It's a lockback. I don't know which way to move to do this camera. It's a lockback knife. See? Okay. So, but look at the deep carry pocket clip over here. Check that out. So go like this and you can just open it. I mean, I'm not touching the nail nick or nothing. Just boom, slips open and will it drop? Yeah, it will. Hold on. Yikes. I don't want it to drop on my hand, but you release that lock bar, it'll drop uh, nicely centered. Uh, I think it's N690 on the blade. Yeah, it's a Buller N690 blade. Okay, so I'll be doing a video on that. And what they send you also, 
nice leather, like a little holster type. Put your gun in there, that kind of thing, you know? So that's really cool. And then the puffin, a couple of people asked me about the puffin. These, I mean, these knives are on sale at White Mountain, okay? So check them out. Um, this is the puffin, and let me see. What am I doing here? Okay, kick it open. It's got carbon fiber on the one side, but not on the other. Otherwise, it's a small knife. It's a, 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 a um, frame lock, but it's got the cutaway here, so you can finger flick it open. Nice, fairly light. I'll be doing a video on that. QSP. And check out the Kylan. What do you think about that little dog? You know, it would have been nice if they would have done some gold on the high spots here to match what they did here with this. Um, and then maybe do a little band across here. That would have made it more symmetrical. But what a crazy knife. Four inch blade, nine inches overall. Some, I mean, look at that dimping on the top of that spine. That's some crazy, all kinds of crazy. But it's not as sharp as you might think. It's not. Uh, it's okay. It's S35VN. So the Kylan. I saw this and I go, oh, must have, must have. And so check it out on uh, White Mountain. It was a guy the other day said, Hey, that discount's not working on Smoky Mountain Knives. I go, yeah, you shouldn't have smoked that before you went online. Uh, it's White Mountain, not Smoky. <laughs> Smoky? Lord Almighty. But yeah, Tepe, also the Hornet in both Titanium and G10 available. I'll give you the link to his Instagram. That's how you contact him. You know, ceramic ball on the pocket clip. These are nice knives, right? The, the G10 is D2. This one is N690, okay? So it's not M390, but that might be a good thing, the way M390's been going lately, uh, you know? So even my Spyderco ones from DLT Trading, that hit a 60. That was it. I mean, I was going, am I going to get a 62? No. And the one from Bento Box I got, uh, the Para 2 that's blue handled in M390, was like a 61.7. So got saved on that one. The other one, it would have been nice if it was a 62 because just a few points makes a huge difference in M390 performance more so than if it's a few points on S35 or some of the others. So according to what I hear from our cut testing professionals, so yeah, check them out, Outpost 76, Super Steel Steve, um, In the Pockets, Tom Hosang Outdoors, Banner 247, Blade Banner, all those guys, check them out um, because they're doing the actual real shit. I'm just showing you knives and screwing around okay uh hold on next uh kevin lewis you want to get your knife sharpened you don't want your arm to fall off if you got a 62 hrc m390 you want to resharpen Whew, i don't even do that anymore i send it to kevin say put me a mirror on that one and he will do it and you know i usually send him several and try and make you know a deal multi-deal uh plus it's cheaper on the shipping that way so think about that because Wow, that's, that's some effort. And he's got all the stones and the emulsions and stuff. I don't. I go to 1500 grit. That's it. I'm done. So I do my beaters. And I do my regular kind of rotational users that way. Because I don't care if they're pretty. But if I have a really high end or a really super tough steel, something like that, that I really cherish, hey, I, I want something nice. Better than I do. Okay, so we got Eddie York. I'll put this stuff down here. You can pause and read, take a screenshot, whatever you want to do. Look at the stuff that he's got listed. And then next, we've got Adam Ray. And here's several of the knives. I'm going to flip it over the next page and let you see the others. Okay? So check them out. 
Those are going to be in the description section and also at the top of the comment section. Parting shot here. Brother Knives. Have you seen this? Have you watched? I think Patty Potato Peelers has had these on his channel. You might want to check them out. Uh, this is really interesting. Carbon fiber with VG10. It's a lockback. Okay? It's a lockback. And you... Let me see if I can drop this. But, yeah, it will drop. And, I mean, it's just like that worker from QSP. Really nice, small, easy to carry, but carbon fiber. Okay? Really traditional looking VG10 blade. I'll have it tested for hardness and make sure it's VG10. Okay? But, wow, that is so smooth. It's. I think they're on, I think they said bronze washers and you can take your fingers and actually do it one-handed 32 bucks okay aliexpress store i will give you the information it's called and up here i cut it off knife center store that's the name of the store in ollie okay and uh, this is i'm gonna get this one 1505. This is my Carta with VG10. How good looking is that? Not even quite a three inch blade, not completely six inches long, I believe. Yeah, it's a three and a half inch long blade. So, but yeah, maybe barely six inches. And this is kind of what the front page looks like of their AliExpress store. Uh, Brother Knives. And they've got another one. I should have printed it out because it's D2 and it's titanium and it was only like 59 bucks. I ordered it. It's a wicked ass looking knife. Um, but it's like a flipper, titanium flipper. So I'll let you know when I get that one in. That should be a lot of fun. And I've talked you to death. Um, that's, all I, that's all I got. Remember, knife sale. Friday the 13th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Do that. Be there or be square. Because I'll tell you what. When I post it, it takes a little while for everybody to kind of get far enough in it to look at the knives. And then about 15 minutes in, holy hell, it all breaks loose. And I'll guarantee you, um, I'm going, you know, like a one-armed paper hanger. Uh, it's crazy, frantic for a while until the smoke clears about three or four hours later. But as long as there are unsold knives, that sale will be valid. It's not a one day deal, okay? I ain't running it from, from seven o'clock Eastern until midnight, okay? It's actually gonna keep going as long as there's knives there. So pay attention to that. And it helps because I have to sell a lot of my knives just to roll over and get money to start doing stuff like buying the damn snafu. And I got some others that I've put money into that'll be coming. So yeah, and I've always got stuff. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate you. 15K giveaway. I'll announce that later, but that will be coming probably in another week to 10 days. I'll actually post something and we ought to have some fun. Okay, take care. You know what we do around here. We love them damn knives. So you guys stay sharp.